Iowa is a leader in ethanol. In fact, Chuck Grassley and I, every morning in the Senate, have a glass of ethanol before <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> It is viable, it's necessary, and uh, it also is uh, important in elimination of greenhouse gases. I'll try to be brief, my friends, but development of alternate energy is not only a national security issue, but it's a climate change issue, and we have to reduce greenhouse gas emissions or we will leave our children a damaged planet. And I don't know, we may be doing that anyway, but we've got to stop uh, our emissions of greenhouse gases. It's no longer a, a debate, in my argument, the debate in my mind. The debate is now not whether the climate change is taking place. The debate is how bad the, the consequences of, of it are. It is a national security issue. About a year and a half ago, there was an attempt to destroy, uh, by a suicide bomber, to destroy an oil refinery in Saudi Arabia. That, succeed, that attack was foiled. If that attack had succeeded, the price of oil would have gone to $150 a barrel overnight. My friends, when you've got people like Chavez in Venezuela, Nigeria, the Middle East, and other places that are very unstable, from whence we get our oil supply, it argues that we've got to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. And we have to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Ethanol is going to play a big role. I do not support subsidies for ethanol. I do strongly support ethanol. They should be getting by without, without subsidies, in my view. And I'm for opening markets overseas for ethanol produced right here in the state of, of Iowa. The, the greatest producers and the most efficient agriculture in the world resides in the Midwest of the United States uh, of America. I also believe in nuclear power. Nuclear power is a viable way to reduce our dependence on foreign oil and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. My friends, if the French can, can uh, generate 80% of their electricity with nuclear power, we should be able to also. We always like to imitate the French, as we know. <laughs> By the way, on my way back from Iraq, uh, I stopped in France uh, to visit the new president of France, and believe it or not, he's very pro-American, which shows if you live long enough, anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's the first. I think he's the first pro-American leader since Lafayette, but I'm not sure. But, uh, so. Uh, it, 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 and by the way, those of us familiar with the United States Navy, the United States Navy has sailed ships around the world for 60 years with nuclear power plants on them. We've never had uh, a problem. So we have to make it a national priority. We have to convince the American people of the urgency of climate change and the urgency of our requirement to, to uh, become, uh, eliminate our dependence on foreign oil and I think we can do that, and ethanol, I believe, of all kinds, will play a key and vital role in achieving that goal.